assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to techfab youtube channel today in this video i'm going to help you out with lyli ransomware which is new ransomware and it belongs from stop djvu family it encrypts your data with the online key encryption method in most of the cases and you will not be able to open any kind of a file whether it's any video whether it's photo whether it's any document so you will not be able to open anything on your computer and your computer will be running slow and you will not be uh, it will not allow you to do anything so in this video i will be covering each and everything in this video and as i told you earlier that this is the online key encryption method and there is no official decryptor at the moment but we do have some methods which you can use without any cost and before i can start the video i would like to I would like your attention that some of the Facebook page and some of other guys uh, they are just commenting in videos that uh, some of the Facebook page are decrypting the data and they are uh, just costing uh, some of the dollars so that's not correct if you look into it that thanks for the info but we have we are able to remove the virus and here we go so she told that they charged me 152 dollars and this high ripa uh, this is commenting in each and every video whatever the extension it is and she is saying that uh, one of the Facebook page basically these are the people's uh, I, I believe that they have the link to the attacker so don't pay heed to them as you will lose more money and they will not decrypt anything so here we go this is the other comment and this is the partner these are all the partners so you don't need to pay any attention as we I do have I got a comment I got an email as well from one of my subscriber that she has already lost approximately four hundred and ninety dollars for this uh, Facebook ransomware page and they demand that if she is going to pay this and they will decrypt the data after she paid four hundred and ninety dollars they didn't decrypt any data and then so she has forwarded the whatsapp number and all the things here if you check it out so don't pay heed to them and so now let's get started with the video and first of all we need to remove the virus and after that i will show you some of the methods which you can use to decrypt the data and again i'm just requesting you not to pay any penny to any of uh, the attacker or any of the facebook uh, page and first of all what you need to do is i will recommend you to subscribe my channel so that once i will up upload any other video regarding the ransomware as we are working hard for you guys and we will update you we will keep you up to date and my request will be to subscribe my channel so that you will get the notification once i will upload any new video so first what you need to do is you need to check your host file whether there is any ip address there so if there is any ip address that means the attacker has access on your computer you need to take the access back from the computer how do you do that uh, you need to go on to the start button and then you need to enter note paid okay then right click there and after that you need to run it as administrator click yes here and after that go on to the file click open and then go on to the C drive and then there will be the folder called Windows click on there and after that scroll down you will find one more folder called system32 click there and then you will find one more folder called drivers click there and then you will find one more folder called etc click there and now you will not find anything you just need to click there text document select all files and you will find the host file there click there and it contain all the IP addresses so what you need to do is I believe that uh, so these are your IP addresses you don't need to do anything and after that I believe you will find a bundle of IP addresses there so you need to select them all after that right click here and then you need to delete them and once you delete all the IP addresses after that you need to save it and after that then you can uh, just cross it here and so you have done the first step and uh, now you have got back the access from the attacker and access and attacker will not get any access from your computer now as you have removed all the IP addresses there this is the first step which you need to do so first I will show you a couple more methods which can which you can use to remove the virus from the computer the second method is uh, go to the control panel 
I will put appwiz dot cpl. Okay, and go on to the control panel here. And after that, what you need to do is you need to check all the softwares which has been installed on your computer, and you need to check if there is any software which has recently installed on the same day when the attack was when uh, your computer has got the attack. For example, uh, if my computer has got attack on 626, you need to check the software, and if it's unknown for you, you need to uninstall that software. But make sure the publisher is not Microsoft Corporation, and you will find Yahoo Search, you will find each uh, other softwares as well. So you need to delete them all okay so this is the second stuff which you need to do and after that what you need to do is you need to go on to the task manager and go into the processes and you will find here Google Chrome and all other processes here so and you will find lot of processes so what you need to do is there will be the process called Yahoo search if you do if you have you need to right click there and you need to end the processes and you need to end all those processes which is unknown for you so this is the third step which you need to do and after doing these steps you need to scan the computer with the legitimate antivirus so if you don't have any antivirus you can use uh, a vast antivirus here and I will put the link in my description you so you just need to go there and visit the video and you can download Avast for free and you can use it so this was uh, the scanning and after that I will show you some of the methods which you can use to get back your data so the first method I'm going to show you is restore point so if you have created any restore point and sometimes computer is creating the restore point automatically if you have any restore point on your computer you can restore your computer you can get back your computer to the last stage and your computer will forget all those changes so how do you do that go into the start button and type r s t r u i dot e x e so here we go click there and it will take some time okay now click next and then you will find some of the restore points and you can click on make sure and you just need to choose the restore point choose the date when your computer was doing well before the attack so for example if my computer was doing good on 9 9 2020 I will click there and then I need to click next and after that I need to click finish so after clicking on finish button so my computer will be restart and it will forget all the cho changes which has been happen after 9 9 2020 and so you will be able to get back your files without any decrypt without any decryptor so this is the main and important stuff which you need to do is so this is the first step and if you don't have the uh, restore point you can use one more software called shadow explorer sh a D O W Shadow Explorer and so the software is very useful and it what it does is uh, if you have any shadow copies in the hard disk it will check all the shadow copies and if he and if it found finds any of the shadow copies it will restore them and you will be able to get back the data I have already downloaded it I will show you how to do it okay so now this is the main uh, interface of the software and uh, here in that section you will find the drives I do have C and D so and here you will find some dates as well for example if your data is in C drive and uh, your computer was doing good on 7 4 2020 so here we go so there will be the folders for example if you need this folder you just need to right click there and then you need to export and after exporting you need to uh, you need to give the you need to give the folder where you want to save it and then you need to click OK and you will get back the original file so this is the second and simple stuff which you can follow so after two steps if it doesn't work for you what I will do is you need to download a software called photo rec p h o t o photo r e c photo rec okay and it will be the photo test desk download CG security and click there and it will get download it will be the zip file 
click test disk 7.2 and then it depends upon your internet speed how much speed you are getting so I think that I have already downloaded the software I will check it out and I will take it from there so yeah so first of all you will find this uh, like uh, you, you will find the software like that and you need to extract the file here extract here and you will get this file here and after extracting I have already extracted it you need to go onto the folder click there and then scroll down and you will find the folder called QP photo rack underscore win you need to click there and it will also take couple of now we have the interface of the photo rack here as well and now what you can do is so this is my C drive this is my D drive and this is my whole drive you need to select the whole drive and then what you can do is uh, you can you have to click on file formats and here you can reset them and first you will check your jpg and pdf and other files you will put J jpg select yes and then you can put png click yes and you can do pdf it's up to you you can select all and I'm just taking an example and then click OK after that I click on browse and select the path where you want to save the recover data click for example I will save it in folder called 63 then OK and after that click search so it will take some more time so you need to wait until it finished so here we go so we are getting some of the files back and so you need to wait until the until it scans completely your computer and after completing it you need to check the folder and I believe that you will get some of the data back with this method so this was the third method which you can use and after that if you want you can use Isus data recovery software as well as well as Wondershare recover it both the softwares are free you can visit my youtube channel and you will find those two videos as well and uh, I believe that they will also help you out and um, I already told you that we are working hard for you guys and hopefully we will get back to you with the proper solution for this extension and so kindly subscribe our channel don't forget to hit the bell icon as well and like our video and it, it's giving us more confidence to work for you for this ransomware I know how frustrating is this so let's meet you in the next video till then goodbye